Blast waste is one of the most common and hateful things that I encounter in my outdoor adventures. I cannot fathom how people could take in the pristine beauty of mother nature and then proceed to destroy it with their rubbish. Some go a step further. They would break glass bottles and leave pieces of broken glass scattered on the forest floor with no concern to the harm it could cause the wildlife and other people. So today I'm going to show you a method developed by the Native Americans that turns glass waste into razor sharp survival knives. First, find a few pieces of broken bottle glass. Using an abrasive stone, proceed to carefully abrade all edges of the piece of glass. This makes the glass safe to handle. Next, using a pressure flaker, which could be an antler tine, a nail, or in my case, a piece of bone, proceed to roughly shape out the cutting edge. Then, using the pressure flaker, drive out a series of flakes along one side of the glass edge. To do so, you need to push down and inwards against the edge of the glass with the tip of the pressure flaker. Now, depending on the thickness of the glass, you might have to repeat this process a few times. When doing this, be sure to only drive flakes against one side of the cutting edge. After one or two iterations, the cutting edge should be reduced to a fairly thin profile. Now, just turn the piece of glass over and drive off one more set of flakes on the other side of the edge. This crude knife now has a razor sharp cutting edge. Such an improvised cutting tool can be made in under five minutes. Now let's go cut something. This blade cuts through plant matter like a hot knife through butter. It makes quick work of food processing. It quickly cuts through leather. Cutting through paracord was a piece of cake. Cutting through dry hardwood was no problem at all. Now, this transitional knife design was created by the Narragansett tribe during the 17th century King Philip's War. Prior to the conflict with the Narragansett, English colonists had already destroyed the Pequot and Wampanoag tribes that bordered Narragansett territory. So the trade routes that supplied the Narragansetts with critical nappable stones such as chert and obsidian were already cut off prior to the war. Thus, throughout the course of this conflict, the Narragansett crafted these improvised knives from bottle glass. Bottle glass that they salvaged from English garbage dumps or from destroyed English settlements. Now, I like this knife design for a number of reasons. First, the material to make it is abundant in my part of the country. The flaking technique used here is very easy to learn. It took me less than 20 minutes to learn it. The knife itself takes five minutes to craft and is very sharp. Finally, when this knife dulls out, you can quickly restore its razor sharp edge by pressure flaking just one single row of flakes on one side of the edge. All of these factors combine to make this knife design very useful and very practical in a wilderness survival situation. Anyways, thanks a bunch for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye.